Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Shaft Laser and how to integrate the DX Bloat Control in our application. Right here you can see we have a demo of the Blazor DX Bloat Control and I think that is really nice. You can select a file but also you can drag and drop. And if we see here we have the documentation about the class, all the properties that inherit and how to use it in the project. If we scroll down we can see actually the markup with the property of blood URL and so on, so on. So let's see it on Shaft Laser. So if we see, we have this project here where we have the file data property with an editor alias, file data. So that means that we're creating a property editor. And if we go and check the files, we will see the four components that we always use or the four files that we always use when creating a property editor or this editor. The adapter, the component, the model, and the property editor. So let's go from Shaft to Blazor. So basically we have the property editor and you see here we have the attribute where we say the type of property, we put a name and when we say that is we put false or true if it's going to apply to everything. And right here you can see that it's calling the adapter and this adapter will be the blood file adapter that actually is the one who binds the component model with the actual razor component. If you see the render fragment here and it's actually creating here and of course set every other property that we have from the model about allow, allow null, edit mask and so on so on. Of course we will have the model that is the one who have the properties that our component will be used like upload URL, read only and so on and then we will have our actual tracer components. Right here we have the markup and again if we see the upload URL is coming from the model and so on so on. We have all the other properties that we need here and right here basically we are displaying this in our UI. Now if we go to now to the main object one we can see that we have the editor alias of file data. So with that in place let's run it and let's see it in action. Let's give it a second. Is coming. So now we have this uh, domain object one class. We click new and voila, we have our control. And if we drag one file, boom, we have our software training dashboard. That is a course that we're creating and will be live, I think, by the beginning of 2022. So that's basically it for this video, but I just wanted to show how easy it is to create a property editor that integrates a control that is not in there by default. So basically you come to the documentation, see how that is implemented in Pure Blazor, and then you put together all the steps that are needed. The adapter, the tracer component, the model, and actually the property editor. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.